What? What's up everybody? This is Ashton with Freedom Fitness Equipment here. Today we are reviewing the Body Solid Open Hex Trap Bar. Let's go. Let's go take a look. So today we are reviewing this sexy beast oh my. of a hex trap bar. And this thing is absolutely solid. I wanted to get this on a review because I was really impressed with the build quality and the budget price that this hex trap bar has compared to all of the other hex trap bars on the market. So this hex trap bar has 16.25 inch sleeves, which is about average and maybe slightly less than average of most other hex trap bars on the market right now. It's about the same sleeve length as a standard barbell. It's also got uh, two knurled handles with fairly aggressive knurling. I believe it's volcano knurling and the open trap design. The best part about this particular hex trap bar is not only is it budget priced at around 250 bucks, but it also has jack stands so that when you tilt this thing up, you don't damage your floor and you can load plates on either end of the trap bar without having to lean over and bust your back trying to rake plates onto the trap bar. Nice. This thing has some sexy chrome smooth sleeves. What? If you know anything about me, you'll know that I hate rib sleeves. Please, manufacturers, please, for the love of God, stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more putting rib sleeves on barbells and any other specialty bar. The other thing I really love about chrome sleeves is you don't have that stupid freaking powder coat that just rubs right off. It is smooth chrome, don't no issues with sliding plates or stuff on here. And yet, you know, guys, if you like the rib sleeves, just use a collar. That's what collars are for. Use a collar on the end of this thing. All right, there's several other features I really enjoy about this hex strap bar. It has knurled handles, and on a lot of hex trap bars, my freaking hands get torn up and bleed and just feel super painful. And I've decided that I want to die. On this one, it feels aggressive without absolutely digging into your hands. I think it's because there's a difference between volcano knurling and mountain knurling and blah, 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 blah. But I think this is volcano knurling, which is, while aggressive, a little bit easier and not doesn't bite into your hands like a freaking shark. Wow. Huge problem I have with hex trap bars is they feel super constricted. So you feel like you're in a freaking telephone booth when you should be in the land of the free, the home of the brave. And this body solid open check strap bar makes me feel like I'm in the land of the free and the home of the brave. If you're a tall guy, I've had tall guys that lift inside these trap bars and they're like here in a trap bar. This, you can really widen your stance you don't feel constricted. You don't feel like it's super tiny. The Titan hex trap bar is notorious because I have it and it is a lot less wide and it also feels like you're in this tiny little box. But you know, with this, you've got plenty of room. It doesn't feel constricting at all. And it's wide enough with an open back to where, you know, you're almost in the same position as a regular deadlift, which is what a hex trap bar is for. Um, the position of these handles is really nice too. So you got an upper handle. Uh, if you are prone to back issues and you want a higher starting position or the lower handle where you can literally just flip this thing over. Now you can lift from that position. So I really love this bar, this open hex trap bar. Uh, the best thing about it is, as I mentioned before, the freaking price point is 250 bucks. I don't know that there's many hex trap bars that can really compete with that on the market right now. There's really only a few things I would change about this. My disappointment is immeasurable. There is no product on the market that is absolutely perfect, but this comes pretty darn close. However, I do have a few suggestions on how to improve this particular hex trap bar. In my limited usage with it, I have found that having different size handles, much like other manufacturers have, would be nice. Like a fat handle and maybe a really thin handle to make it easier to grip. Um, the other thing is a lot of manufacturers have rotating handles, but on a budget open hex trap bar, I'm not sure if that would add too much to the cost. So I'm going to kind of leave it there and just say, these are enough. Maybe have interchangeable handle sizes would be a nice feature. These are just screwed in. Very easy to change. Sometimes it may be good. Sometimes it may be shit. The last thing that I'll say is as far as the sleeve length, Bells of Steel, for example, used to sell uh, their industrial commercial trap bar that had like 17 inch sleeves. So if Body Solid can, adding like a few inches on the end of these sleeves would be really nice. Usually you can deadlift a little bit more with a hex trap bar than you can with a normal deadlift, especially all you massive powerlifting junkies out there that are deadlifting like a thousand pounds. I know you're out there. I love you. I love you.
We need to add a little bit more sleeve length to get those extra few plates on there. Adrian Gluck from Gluck's Gym. I know you lift a thousand pounds. So my final thoughts on this ball, on this hex trap bar are, it is a phenomenal budget priced open hex trap bar that has a lot of features that much more expensive bars have, just not for the same price. At $250 with different hand positions, chrome sleeves, an open trap bar design, and the built-in jack stands, this thing is really pretty unbeatable. There are many other brands that are $200 or more expensive than this particular product. And I honestly think, and I've tried out, you know, a decent amount of hex trap bars. I think this one is well worth the investment over those and over a standard trap bar for sure. Honestly, if you're looking for a regular hex trap bar, you should be trying the open version first. The only gripe I have is with open hex trap bars, you do have to position your hands a little bit further up on the handles because this piece will offset your lifting a little bit. It's a little bit more front heavy than it is back heavy, even with plates on the end of the sleeves. But that shouldn't dissuade you from getting this. It's really roomy, really spacious, gives a nice feel, and it's at a budget price point. So I'm a huge fan. Here are my disclaimers if you've gotten to the end of the video. So Body Solid gives me these products usually for free. I don't like where this is going. Sometimes they'll compensate me for like videography and editing, um, but I provide open and honest reviews for any vendor that gives me product. I do not pull punches. Um, I am. I try not to be biased. I really like this product. I really like Body Solid, so I do have a little bit of a bias towards Body Solid, but I try to be as open and honest and transparent as I can about things that need to be changed, things I don't like, uh, things that I really love, and I, I try to communicate those back to the viewers. I absolutely hate when fitness influencers aren't honest about their reviews. So I'm trying to be the opposite here and influence that generation of lifters and viewers who are looking at good gym equipment, but want an honest take. So those are my disclaimers. Um, if you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments below. This is Ashton with Freedom Fitness Equipment. I'll see you next time.